if you want to know whether or not someone is religious, there are a few ways you can go about finding out. Um, one of the most obvious is to ask them the question, do you believe in God? Uh, but where's the fun in that? Luckily, some recent research shows that you might be able to find out in a sneakier way by asking three completely unrelated questions. And here they are. Number one, a bat and a ball cost $1.10 in total. The bat costs $1 more than the ball. How much does the ball cost? Number two, if it takes five machines five minutes to make five widgets, how long would it take 100 machines to make 100 widgets? And number three, in a lake, there's a patch of lily pads. Every day, the patch doubles in size. If it takes 48 days for the patch to cover the entire lake, how long would it take for the patch to cover half of the lake? Think it over. I'll give you until the end of the video to get those answers. Uh, psychologists in Vancouver asked these questions to 179 undergraduate students. And then they surveyed them on their religious beliefs. What they found was that religious people tended to answer those questions intuitively, aka incorrectly, while non-religious people tended to answer those questions analytically, correctly. Uh, you might boil that down to non-religious people are smarter than religious people, but no, it's actually more interesting than that. Uh, there were several different tests they did in addition to asking those questions. Uh, for instance, one of the tests they did was to show people a picture of the sculpture, The Thinker, and uh, in a control group, show other people different sculptures that were similar but didn't show any kind of contemplation. And in another test, subjects played verbal fluency fluency games in which uh, they included analytical words like reason and think and rational compared to control words like hammer, shoes, and jump. In each circumstance, the group that was primed for analytical thinking ended up reporting lower religious beliefs uh, in questions that followed. So priming people to think analytically actually seemed to make them less religious. My favorite of the tests was the last one. Uh, previous studies have suggested that you can secretly activate a person's analytical thinking and help them do better on questions like the ones I asked earlier, simply by writing out the questions in a font that's difficult to read, including using different size words, maybe words that are really small or uh, different colors. So in the last test, the researchers had subjects answer questions about their religious beliefs in either a bold, easy to read font or in a smaller, italicized, light gray font. And sure enough, the harder to read surveys showed people reporting less religiosity. So imagine how many atheists we might create if we could only print up a bunch of Bibles in like Zapfina or something and then convince a bunch of Christians to actually read the Bible. Uh, it's hard enough to get a lot of Christians to read the Bible in a decent font, which is probably also why there are so many Christians still. Nothing makes an atheist faster than reading the Bible. Uh, as usual, caveats apply to this study. Uh, in, it's just one study. It involved fewer than 200 people, and all of those people are undergraduate Canadian college students. Uh, a lot more research is going to be needed to be able to tell exactly what the connection is between analytical thinking and religiosity, and whether bad font choices can make people completely forgo their god. Actually, now that I'm thinking of it, um, I bet a lot of people came out of Avatar thinking that there is no god. Anyway, I'll close by giving you the answers to the questions I posed earlier. Uh, here they are on the screen. Let me know how you guys did in the comments.